Hi everyone, welcome to Puddinwood Avenue. My name is Bindi. So welcome to everyone who is joining me for the first time. Welcome back to my subscribers and my new subscribers. And I hope that you enjoy what I'm going to show you today. Now, <laughs> um, Sunday's video didn't happen. What a comedy of errors, seriously. So what was, what was supposed to happen is I was going to open the first box of the Hobby Advent calendar boxes for the year, for 2022, which I did, and I did it on camera. I did film it, and then together I filmed, we went to the website, but guess what? The patterns aren't released until December. So, <laughs> that part of the video didn't work. Um, I do know what's in the box this time, but I don't know what the pattern is. I'm, I won't spoil it. So, my hobby advent calendar uh, videos will be in December. So, it'll be every Sunday in December, or whenever the first pattern comes out will be when we open the box together, but we find out what the pattern is and um, we'll have a look and I will make it during the week. Then I will show you the following Sunday. We'll open the second box together because I haven't opened any of the boxes this year. So the advent boxes is from a company called Hobby or Hobie, H-O-B-B-I-I dot com. They're amazing. They have really, really good quality yarns. They are a touch on the expensive side, but if you wait for a sale, you'll be able to get some really good yarn for really good prices. So what I'm going to do today <laughs> um, will be what I've been working on this week. I've had a little bit of a crochet frenzy this week. I'm not quite sure what's going on. So the first thing that I finished this week was this blanket. And you've seen it me at the beginning. And I do have a tutorial for this stitch. It's just a lovely little lap blanket. Let me just move my chair back a little bit. It's a lovely little lap blanket. It's really, it's a really good size for a wheelchair because it goes over your lap and the sides of the blanket, and they're not long enough to get caught in the wheel. So this one's going to um, be another donation. So that's this one. This is the easy, what did I call it? Easy blanket stitch perhaps. Um, it's such, it's almost like a granny square, a granny stitch cluster. Um, it just goes so fast. I did use Birch Creative Shimmer uh, yarn that I bought from Spotlight, and I actually used two different colorways. I used <clears throat> Purple Mix, Purple Haze. Because I'd filmed this already, I threw the bands away, and then I, I can't remember, and then the film didn't work. Oh, that's the other thing. The sound was awful, the sound quality, so I couldn't use it anyway, so I had to dump the whole thing. Just gave it up. Comedy errors, oh my gosh. Anything that could go wrong did. Um, all right, so I used the Birch uh, Creative Shimmer that I got from uh, the Reject Shop. Purple Haze and Pumpkin something. I can't quite remember what the colorways were. Um, there was a third darker orange in the um, orange colorway, but I just really felt it didn't go. Oh, that's a really good shot of um, how it worked out color wise um, and so the dark orange I took out of the orange skein and that was the what I was using to make the little pumpkins for so that's that I really really like this blanket I don't know if I'll donate it I should because I've got blankets everywhere else but that's the first thing that I finished this week the second thing that I finished and I'm not sure if I showed you guys this this is a beanie using the double crochet crossover stitch that I had a tutorial for. Um, and this is probably the hat that I made that I enjoy the most. It's too hot to wear it at the moment because it is spring going into summer here in Far North Queensland in Australia. But that fits me so well and I really love the crossover stitch. So that's the second project that I finished. I don't think I'll put a beanie, a pom-pom on the top of this one. Um, so that's the second thing that I finished. What else, what did I do next? So next, with my little crochet crew at school, my grade fours to sixes, they come and see me every Wednesday. And 
I'm teaching them to crochet, so I've got some who are just starting out and some that kind of know what they're doing. So we did another beanie. This is also really, really good. This is just um, single crochet, one row, double crochet the next, single crochet, double crochet, all the way through with a um, back post, front post ribbing on the edge. It again fits really nicely and the yarn I bought, I used for this, it was an absolute dream to work with. It just flowed through my um, hook. And again, it's Birch Creative, Cove Print Yarn is the type. Um, and in the colorway, number 21, Gemstone. So it went from this pinky purple into the darker purple, into the blue, into the like aqua color and into the light blue. Now I didn't get into that. I think I might make, might make a beanie. The kids voted that I make a beanie out of this to go on the top, so it kind of blends. And I think I might have enough to make a baby beanie out of this. Um, so this is, yeah, Birch Creative. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I bought this from my local yarn store, which is Cross Stitch Corner here in Melanda. Please look her up. She's on Facebook. She's amazing. Um, Rosemary has, if you want anything fabric, wow, go in there. Um, but I bought this because it was my colors, right? Um, but I couldn't, and I kind of put off working with it because it sort of feels, I don't know, it's, it's really, really soft, but it's really, really smooth. And I wasn't sure, I don't know why I was a bit hesitant to use it, but I cannot believe how smooth that was to work with. So that's my uh, one, two, th third finished project for the week. I just need to make a pom-pom with the rest of that and then probably a ba baby beanie out of that one. Um, the other things that I've been working on is <laughs> the ring around, ring around the rosy vest. Now these are for children and I've seen them online quite a fair bit and I've just, I've got to make it, I've got to try it, it looks really cool. So this is the first one I made. So basically it's just a circle that you put some holes in for arms, you fold over the top of the circle for a collar, you can do it up with a button in the middle, the match of my purple button is perfect. Um, and that's um, the ring around the rosy vest. How awesome is that? Uh, I do, I'm going to try and work out how to make it a bit bigger. Um, Cause again, my crochet kids are grades four to six and they, oh, can you make one for me? How do we make it? Oh my gosh. So I'm trying to find a bigger pattern. I've played around with this pattern with a bigger hook, but my yarn was a little small. So this was made out of Lion Brand Ferris wheel. Gosh, that's so cute. Lion Brand Ferris wheel, and um, which is a number four weight. I need to think, of, I need to have, and I never do. What is the Australian equivalent of that yarn? But it's a worsted or Aran number four weight yarn. I think it's an eight or a 10 ply in Australia. Might be a 10 ply, I think. Um, and um, that's what the pattern actually recommends. So I, I did that, that's to fit a four to six year old, I think the pattern is for. So that's that one. Then I had another go and I did use, I used a size a three, so a DK uh, or a light worsted, which is a, I think that's the eight ply in Australia. Um, and I used a six and a half hook. So it is a little bigger, but the yarn was smaller. So it didn't make that much of a difference, but I used Hobby Carnival yarn for this. And isn't it amazing? The colors are spectacular. I just love it. So I'm going to recreate this because I have a lot of um, Hobby Carnival yarn. It was on special last year and I bought a ton of it. I was gonna make hat and scarf sets, you know, gonna, it's gonna do it, didn't do it. <laughs> um, so I thought I might try and make some of those, but in the bigger sizes. I think if I took them to markets, um, they would sell like hotcakes. So that's the one, two, three, four, fifth thing I've made this week. I'll tell you, I'm on fire. Um, and I've also been working on a lovey pattern for, um, for babies. So I'm just gonna bring my little toys forward. So I've made a five-pointed star lovey. 
It's so cute. It's really easy. I keep pulling this stitch out because I don't I haven't got a stitch marker in there. Um, and it's just simply granny squares, uh, uh, granny clusters. I'll just fix this up again because I keep dropping it and then I'll lose it and ruin it. Um, but um, it's started off with a hair, hair tie. So you just crochet around hair tie so that you can stretch it on and off the, the pre-made toys. Let me just put this stitch back into this one here. Oh, missed it. Um, and so I'm not sure which toy I will put in the middle of this. Let's just do a single crochet there. Um, because uh, it goes with so many of the um, ones I've got. So here are my three options. A bunny rabbit with big blue eyes. I love the floppy ears, they're gorgeous. And that kind of goes really well with all the, I'll try them on with these big blue eyes. I have an official Peter Rabbit bunny, which I could put on him too. Or I have, he's kind of expensive this one. It's, it's a Ben bear, it's a timeless teddy. His name is Ben. And Ben's already got a blue ribbon around his neck. So I could put it on him. So I'm going to put them on all of the toys and we'll go, okay, which one, if you let me know in the comments below, which one you think works better. So this is a Ben. I still have to put a um, border, just gonna do a simple single crochet border using my, um, again, Hobby Yarn, Hobby Yarn. It's a Bumbo acrylic, 100% acrylic. It's a lightweight number three. So it's kind of thin for doing this, but it worked really well. Um, the color number, I think, because it's uh, not in English, I think it's color number 104. And there's a lot of yarn in here. So um, I could do Ben the bear. What do you think with Ben? Or pop Mr. Peter Rabbit in here. I think I need to find him a blue ribbon too. Or could do Peter Rabbit. It's a nice length for Peter too, Peter Rabbit. Or we could do Big Blue Eye Bunny here. Pop him in the circle, pop his little tail in, there's his arms. Or we could do the Big Blue Eyed Bunny. I really don't know which one to put in here. So um, let me know in the comments, which one do you think? So we've got um, Blue Eyed Bunny, Peter Rabbit, or Ben the Bear. Um, and um, I've really enjoyed doing that. I think I'm gonna keep playing and see if I can work out how to do a six-sided star um, and just play with it. But they, they're really easy to do. It's a, just a granny stitch, um, you know, doubles in the corner, really simple. And that, that stretchy hairband in the middle uh, makes it really, really easy. So that's the other thing I've been working on. Nearly finished that. And as you may or not know, may not know, depending if you've been here for a while or not, I, uh, I teach grade two on a Friday. Um, I'm a special needs teacher during the rest of the week, Monday to Thursday. Um, and on Friday, I teach grade two. <coughs> Excuse me. So for Christmas, I'm going to make, I'm making them and I've um, a bookmark each. So I've found some lovely little dangles to put on the top. So they've all got bookmarks. I'm just gonna put them out. They can pick their own colors. And um, I have actually finished. I've now got 25 of those done. So that's what I've done for the week. I've been going crazy, right? Um, I will be back. I have a tutorial in my head. I might actually show you how to do a lovey. That might be a plan. I'll show you how to do a lovey. That will be the next um, tutorial. That will be coming out probably Wednesday. So um, I plan on doing one on Sunday and Wednesdays. So I'd love for you to join me. Uh, that's it from me today. Thank you very much and I will catch you next time. Bye.